Hello and welcome to Fix It With Fowler. My name is Steve and today I'm going to show you how to fix creaking floorboards. Okay, so before we get into the video, I just like to say thank you to all the subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, then please click on the button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the little bell. That way, you'll be notified of any videos I do in the future. So, on to this video then. If you've got floors like we have in this old house that squeak and creak when you walk on them, I'm going to show you how to fix it with some really simple techniques. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is identify where in the room the floorboards are actually squeaking or creaking or making a noise. And the best way to do that, really, I think, is with some post-it notes. You can use a pencil, a mark pen, mark the floor, but if you were to mark the floor, it's very difficult to see with a pencil. So I will suggest using some post-it notes. So the easiest way to identify the areas is to obviously walk over the floor. Now, the main area when you come in the door in this room, that's where we've got most of the squeaks. To the back of the room, there's going to be a bed, so I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm going to walk up and down the room, bouncing and seeing where we get a creak. Now, every time I get a noise, I'm going to put one of these down, and that will allow me when I come back to know which areas need securing and which don't. A top tip, though, would be to get rid of your shoes, and walk in your socks and that way you'll actually be able to feel the floors move rather than through your trainers or your shoes. Okay, so now we've identified all the boards that actually make a noise in the room. The next thing really is to work out why they're making a noise. Now, if you look at this section of floorboard, now this is one that's been taken up from this room, you can see actually we've got a slight curve on the board and that is really due to the wood moving over time. Now, this house is a 1960s house, so that makes these about 60 years old. Now, over time with these boards moving, you can see that there's a bow in the wood now. Now, originally these are put in with nails, so the nails go through the board into the joists. Now, over time, as these boards move, that pulls these nails out. So, when you walk on, what's actually out of this, the wood is moving up and down the nail, and that is the squeaking that you can hear on the majority of boards. In some cases, actually the tongue on the board rubbing against the other, but the majority of these will be cured by refixing these. Okay, so you're not gonna need that many tools to fix these floorboards, hopefully. Um, I've put a picture of all the tools that you're gonna need. Basically, you're gonna need a screwdriver or an impact driver to put the screws into the floor a hammer and a centre punch to knock the existing nails in like I mentioned before with the boards bowing that actually pulls the nail out so if you can knock the nails in that may cure the problem without actually having to use any additional fixings um, I've also got a ruler and a pencil if you want you can draw a line down the existing nails and that will give you a really accurate place to put your screws or additional fixings to hold the board secure um, 
The other thing that I've got, actually, in my drawer, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a countersink bit, complete with a drill bit. So that allows you to drill and put a pilot hold, and at the same time, countersunk the top to prevent the boards from splitting. So quite a handy tool, about £3.50, I think, from Screwfix. And the only thing you may need that I've not included is some wood glue, but we'll come to that later if we need it. Okay, so the first thing to do really is get your nail punch and a hammer and some wood hammers. And what we're going to do is knock any nails in that are proud so that they're counter into the board. Now, hopefully, that will be enough to pull the boards down and stop this creaking. So, this is the first step really. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk on this and see if we've got any squeaks. Now, as you can see, that area now has stopped making a noise. Okay, so this area of the floor here is the main entrance to the room, and I've knocked the nails in like I did previously, but unfortunately, we're still getting a bit of movement in the floor. So what we're going to have to do is improve the fixings, I think. So we can't really lift the boards to get the nails out. You can't get the nails out while the boards are down. So the only other option is to put additional fixings in. So like I said before, with this drill, with this drill bit, it will allow us to drill through the floorboard, slightly into the joist, but importantly, cancel the top of the board. That will mean that the board won't split. So that's the drill. Obviously, we've got an impact driver. So these are the original nails uh, that you can see there, they're about 70 mil long. So what we've done is we've got some screws which are about the same gauge, they are slightly less in length. So that should allow us to put them in and avoid anything that's under the floor. Now this room here, I've done loads of work in this room so I know exactly what's under the floor. So. I've actually marked the rooms where we've got electric cables, CCTV, pipes, so I know where I can put fixings and, and basically avoid any of them things. So what we're going to do then is you can imagine we lock them down the existing fixings and we're really just going to put additional fixings within that line. Now if you want, you could get a ruler, put down them fixings. You could draw a line all the way down and then you could fix within them, within, well on that line and that way you know that you're going to hit the joist every time. This is obviously going to be under underlaying carpet, you're never going to see it. So you could just do this by eye really, um, save yourself a little bit of time. So what we'll do first then is just come slightly away from the existing nail. Better put that on to drill. If we've got two per board, So that's then piloted and cancelled. Now you can do this bit however you like really. So just before I screw these in, now these screws are quite 
quite special really. They're double counter sunk. They're uh, th obviously threaded, but more importantly, the end of them is serrated, and that allows a quick start and it allows it to pre drill the wood for you without it splitting. So, really good screws. Uh, I'll put a link to these in the comments so you can have a look for them. fixings I'll just test the floor in my scientific method and that's fixed that area of floor so now it's just a case really of going around the room doing the same thing so that's the floor all fixed now I've managed to get rid of all the squeaks and creaks especially when you come into the room um, so the first method really is just to knock the nails in further. So all you need is a centre punch and a hammer. So you can knock the nails in further, which increases the grip on the board. However, that doesn't always work. So as you saw, I put additional fixings in. Now they were obviously screws. So we piloted them, countersunk them, put the screws in, and that pulled the boards tight to the joist. And that's fixed all of the squeaks in this room. However, there is a chance that when you come to do yours, you might not quite get them all to stop moving and you still might get the odd squeak or creak. And sometimes that can be because of the boards themselves. Now, these boards, they obviously have a tongue and a groove and they all interlock. Now, over time, they can move, obviously, as we discussed on the nails. And if the fixings are too far apart, you can get some movement in the centre of the board, which you can't do anything about by adding additional screws or nails. So the only method you've really got is to glue this edge. So what I would use is some decent wood glue. Now you can water it down slightly to help it seep in the joint, but I wouldn't have thought you really need to. So if you get some decent wood glue, you can literally pull that along the floorboard Get an old brush, brush that in, leave it overnight, and that will set and that will bond both both floorboards together, and that will prevent that movement, and that will fix any last remaining squeaks. So I hope you liked the video. Hope it's been nice and informative, easy to follow. Um, the whole aim of this channel really is to give you the confidence to tackle these DIY jobs that you might not want to. So if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like what you've seen, add a comment if there's anything you want to know, or if you just want to mention anything within the video. Uh, the other thing, there's a little notification bell. If you hit that bell, then every time I release a video, you'll get a notification and you'll be able to keep up to date. So hope you like the video. See you soon.